video, I'll show you his M5 burner to update or reset the firmware on uh, M5 Stick C. So over here, are all the ver soft versions of the firmware available for it. Some of these are specifically for things like the um, can't ones, the M5 Stick with embedded cameras. Some of these are for uh, really for M5 stack devices. So the first step is you're going to hit refresh. That's going to download the newest list. You're going to select the firmware. If you have a firmware that's not downloaded, you'll click on it and hit download. Right now, it seems like their servers are having issues because they just released a couple updates. So that should remind me to actually do this video. But we're going to reflash this with a 1.4.5 firmware. Now, you can put a SSID and password in here if you're going to use it at home. I'm going to leave those blank. I'm going to make sure I'm going to pick the last COM device. That's usually the one that picks. I want the baud rate to be 7,500. And I want to pick the stack C as the device. I can then erase and then burn. I should get a display showing connecting devices. I should see writing across. If I don't see that, try a different COM port. Now this will go through and write firmware to the device. It does wipe out, I believe, everything on the device. Um, but this is useful for when software comes to upgrade. You do need to use it on Windows or Mac, and I'll include a link to the Windows version of the software in the description. But you can also get to that firmware by going to the UI flow page. And under the settings, if you scroll down, M5 burner is available for Windows or Mac. And that will just download the software. I have had some uh, problems occasionally with things not always behaving themselves properly with the software. So you might have to download ESP tools separately. But otherwise, that should refresh your device and get rid of the running software. So that is one way of also clearing out if you have software won't stop running on there.